They say she's a good teacher, but her homework is X-rated. It goes from my son straight to her on the couch like this. Plus, there are 10 things wrong with this pool right now that could mean life or death for your children. Can you spot them? And in Pay It Forward, a salon called Hope offers a special service for people with cancer. But first, even her friend is calling it a scam. Remember this surveillance video? Police say this woman intentionally threw herself into a moving car in a Walmart parking lot to try and collect insurance money. Well, her defense took a big hit tonight. CBS 5's Peter Bush is live with that story. Peter? Her close friend now says that what happened in this Walmart parking lot was nothing more than a scam to rip off the taxpayers. This was Vetus Bonner last week. I trust her. I know that she's not a liar. Here she is tonight. She's a big liar. She's a schemer. And she told me. Bonner says her friend Amika Ballard, the woman from this Walmart surveillance video, confessed to her what police had already suspected. I'm pissed. I'm really, I'm uh, ashamed to be a part and to be a part of her life. Ballard's motive, according to Bonner, a pre-existing injury that Ballard couldn't afford treatment for, so she needed a way to blame it on someone else and get her medical bills covered. Police say the whole thing was a big waste of resources. Are you injured? Do you need a paramedic yes, response? Yes, I need medical attention. An ambulance and a hospital stay are not cheap. I don't think the taxpayer need to be bothered uh, uh, paying her hospital bill. We tried again tonight to ask Ballard to repay the taxpayers if, in fact, this was a scam. Nobody answered the door. And Bonner says she already went to police tonight to tell them what she found out. Police have told us that they believe they have a strong case, but that this could only help. Live in Chandler tonight, Peter Bush, CBS 5 News. All right, Peter, thanks so much for that. New at 10 tonight. Are you ready to pay for another round of bonuses? If you can believe this, we're hearing tonight that AIG plans to pay millions to several top corporate executives. Even though the insurance giant is surviving right now on $180 billion of your money. For them to turn around and use it for their own personal pleasure basically just kind of shows that they just kind of like played the trick on the government and just said, hey, we're going to do what we want to do regardless. No repercussions for anything that they've done and obviously not even any kind of mercy for what they've done. I think it's a, it's kind of a fit in America's face that, that, are, that we're all struggling through this economy together and, and just, so we should share it together. The report from the Washington Post says AIG is saying these are delayed bonuses from 2008 and saying that they were due next week. They're worth about $2.4 million. GM is expected to get out of bankruptcy tomorrow. Right now, lawyers are signing mounds of paperwork to transfer cash, real estate, and other property. The whole process took just 40 days. Also tomorrow, General Motors will announce it's cutting another 4,000 white-collar jobs. The company's says it will make money even in this tough economy. A couple of sisters-in-law got into a nasty knife fight and it ended with one woman dead. The scene, an apartment near 27th Avenue and Indian School. Police say both women were stabbed. The other woman is in the hospital. Right now they're still investigating. No arrests have been made. Well, we heard that cuts were coming and the ax fell last night. A hundred people at the Arizona Republic lost their jobs. 20 of those worked in the newsroom. The paper's owner, Gannett, laid off about 1,400 people nationwide. Twitter postings say workers got phone calls last night saying they could pick up their things after the close of business tonight. Well, a record number of your friends, neighbors, and family members are now collecting unemployment. More than 6.8 million people nationwide applied last week. That's a new record high. Outrage tonight when a DVD that was supposed to be full of school memories had porn on it instead. And some parents and students are fuming. A fifth grade teacher in California gave the DVD to her students. It starts with a menu screen showing different school trips and events. But then it gets raunchy. It goes from my son straight to her on the couch like this. My son's reaction was, Dad, is that Ms. Del Fonte? Turns out that student is right. That's the elementary school teacher in the video. She says she didn't realize the porn was on the DVD when she handed it out. The school district is investigating. 
He was wasted. Scottsdale police arrested a man for driving drunk after he blew a .40. That's five times the legal limit. Officers pulled Doran Sears over near 68th and Main Streets yesterday afternoon. They drew blood to confirm his alcohol level and sent him to jail. Nearly 650 criminals are locked up tonight. Police across the state arrested them on warrants for everything from drugs to gangs to sex offenses, even murder. But let's put that in perspective for you. Maricopa County still has 38,000 outstanding warrants. Well, it is a lot, and, uh, but we're heading in the right direction because that number used to be up over 40,000. And uh, so uh, there's obviously been some good progress made. And this was part of a national roundup dubbed Operation Falcon. So far, 35,000 criminals have been arrested across the country. Here's something scary. Police say criminals are now hiding weapons in cell phones. The New York Police Department is warning officers about the T-Mobile sidekick and other similar devices. Apparently, people can hide a razor blade in the battery compartment. Officers also are on alert after someone converted a cell phone to a stun gun. Admitting his affair is apparently just the beginning for Senator John Ensign's problems. His parents reportedly gave his mistress and her family $100,000 after the affair ended. The Nevada lawmaker's lawyer says the money was a gift out of, quote, concern for their well-being at such a difficult time. Levi Johnston, the father of Sarah Palin's grandson, says he knows why the Alaska governor is stepping down and it's all about money. He lived with the Palin family for a few weeks after his son's birth, and he claims hearing Palin say several times that it would be nice to take advantage of deals like a reality show and a book. Illinois Senator Roland Burris won't run for a full term next year. He's expected to announce that tomorrow. Insiders say he was doomed from the start because of his ties to former Governor Rod Blagojevich. Blagojevich appointed Burris to fill President Obama's Senate seat and was later arrested for allegedly trying to sell that seat. Well, you might be able to get cheaper drugs from Canada over the Internet. The plan just passed the Senate, but it might not survive the House. Some say it would open the door for Internet scam artists. Right now, if you visit Canada, you can bring back a three-month supply of drugs. Well, this fall, some Americans might have to get two flu shots, one for the regular flu, the other for the H1N1 strain. Health officials at a flu summit in Washington, D.C. say a new vaccine is in the works. If all goes well, it could be available by mid-October. Almost a million Americans have had the H1N1 flu. More than 170 have died. And that's why Health and Human Services wants you to get involved in the fight against the flu. You could win up to $2,500 if you help come up with a public service announcement. It has to be educational. It has to talk about planning for and preventing the H1N1 virus. So, you think you have what it takes? Head to our website, kpho.com. Click on Saw It on CBS 5. That's where you'll find a link to that contest. Is it litter or a lifesaver? A group is leaving bottled water in the desert south of Tucson for people crossing the border. They call themselves humanitarians. But as soon as they drop the bottles, they get a ticket for littering. We believe that the work we do is very important and life-saving, and no matter what, we have to continue that life-saving work, no matter the risk. Just drop water and, and walk away from these plastic bottles and pollute the environment that way is, is not good at all. Fish and wildlife officers say the group could apply for a permit to set up a water station, but there's already plenty of water. Now it's up to a judge. Littering can come with a $175 fine or up to six months in jail. Well, the weekend, this weekend, the Valley of the Sun will live up to its name with soaring heat, and emergency workers are concerned about heat stress. They're reminding you it starts with heat cramps when your muscles start to tighten up. Then heat exhaustion makes you sweat, feel sick, and look pale. The last level is heat stroke when you stop sweating, which can kill you. With it. I enjoy the hike. And you can if you uh, know your limits. <laughs> Few do, and they don't survive. Firefighters say about 30 people die in Arizona every year because of the heat. They say the key to protecting yourself is to drink a lot of water. 911, what's the location of your emergency? You've heard the calls. My baby down in the pool, hurry. To help save a child. Yeah, 
we do now could make a difference. You want to try? Okay. Drownings are killing our kids. I only looked away for a minute. I stepped inside to grab the phone. They are the excuses that we hear after a child drowns. We might think we know all the steps to preventing it, but is there more we can do to protect our kids? Scene McLaughlin is live with more. Scene? Yeah, Kent and Catherine, you and I and Catherine, we've all lived here a long time, and every time we hear those calls, it's frightening. The numbers are sobering. As of tonight, here in Maricopa County, there has been 96 water-related incidences or 911 calls. Out of these 96 calls, 24 people, 24 people have drowned so far this year. Out of that 24, nine of those deaths have been children, mostly toddlers, snuffed out before their first walk, before their first kiss, driving their first car, going to their first high school dance. Nine toddlers gone, never to come back. You know, the pool culture here is part of the way of life in Arizona. In fact, tonight, perfect night to take a nice dip. Temperatures are still in the high 90s, but we're in a typical backyard pool, and there's five things wrong. Five things that make this place a death trap. Can you spot them? Do you think you know everything you need to know about pool safety? Take a quiz with me live coming up here on CBS 5 because we're back in 90 seconds. Summertime and the living is easy, especially when you call Express Flooring with free in-home shopping, next day installation, and a lifetime installation warranty. Express Flooring is the best. Call 800. It's the 4th of July event at Ashley Furniture Home Store. For a limited time, choose up to five full years interest-free or no interest and no payments for one year. Plus, save the tax or save 12.5% off your entire purchase at Ashley Furniture Home Store. In a wreck, need a... And we are back now live with our pool school safety test over my shoulder, a typical scene in every backyard here in Arizona. But there are five things, five things horribly wrong with this picture. Do you know what they are? Do you think you know everything there is to know about pool safety? Take the test with me right now. It's a cool relief on a hot summer day, but in just a few seconds, these fun times could turn fatal. Where are the problems? What five things are wrong with this picture? Begin the test with Deputy Fire Chief Frank Solomon and the five wrongs that you need to make right, right now. Here, you have a great example right here. What good is ha having a soft closing gate when it's propped open? Sure, it's easy for us adults to come in and out of the pool, especially if you're barbecuing in here. Well, all along, it's easy for a child to sneak up behind you and get into the pool. That right there has led to the death of many children in our community. Is this it? Here are some great examples of some items that children can use to scale the side of the fence. You've got some of their toys that are out in the yard and you have some lawn equipment, jungle gym. You need to get this away from the side of the fence. Just move it away, store it in an area where the children cannot drag it to the fence and use to jump over. What about this? This is a great example of why not to leave toys in the pool. Children want to get their toys. Unfortunately, this right here will cause them to fall in and drown. Do not give them a reason to be around a pool unattended. Can it be that? Floaties and other inflatable devices are only toys. They're not approved for safety. It leads to the false sense of security of parents thinking that their kids are going to be safe in the pool, and they're not. What's wrong here? Who's watching the kids? Parents are over here having a great old time. They got their backs to the kids, the conversation's going on. Biggest mistake parents make is they assume someone else is over here watching the kids. They will go under and none of these parents will, will hear it because they're too busy with the conversation. Well, how did you do? Did you get all five? Did you maybe miss one or two? Did you see some of the obvious ones? Well, guess what? Over my shoulder, there's actually five more problems with a total of 10, 10 things wrong that make this beautiful backyard setting a preventable tragedy. So go online. We've got a pool school safety quiz. Can you get all 10? Go online right now at kpho.com. You scroll over your mouse with the picture of uh, what's behind me right now, 
and you try to figure out all 10, all 10 things wrong with this backyard scene. It's fun and it's formative. And most importantly, we want to keep your kids safe. Kent, Catherine, we'll send it back to you. Really yeah. valuable information. Mm -hmm. Can't say it enough. Thanks, Never Zane. be careful enough. Thanks, yeah. Zane. Well, tonight's Pay It Forward shows how strong of a connection there is between looking good and feeling good. CBS 5's Jeff Uterra is here now with this week's segment. Jeff? Well, Ken Catherine, the woman who wrote us this week is sick, but being sick doesn't mean you stop caring about how you look. That's natural, and she was worried about the impact being sick would have on her looks. A man in Flagstaff took care of that. Sally Lawrence's life in Cottonwood was moving along as smoothly as a locomotive until that dreaded C word stopped her cold. Breast cancer. It was a cancer that would steal away movement in her left arm because of something called lymphedema and steal away her hair because of chemotherapy. Well, it's pretty devastating. You know, what are you going to do? How long does it take to grow back? And those weren't the only questions Sally had when the doctor told her. She thought, what about her appearance? Some people can just tie a scarf around their head and be happy with it, but I knew that wouldn't work for me. And who would shave her head so she didn't have to watch her hair fall out? The lady who normally cuts my hair didn't offer her, and, you know, nobody else, nobody else really offered. And even if they did, where could they do it? I didn't want to go sit in just any salon in front of 25 other people again services and have my hair shaved off. It just didn't feel good. What Sally didn't know was that in Flagstaff, a man she'd never met could answer all those questions. How was your day? Robert Allison Left, please. runs a salon called Hope. Did you get a book? Not only did he shave Sally's head in a private setting where she felt comfortable, but he also styled her wig, That's trimmed her nails, gave her a turban, showed her how to redraw her eyebrows and pampered her like she was at a spa. We offer them all hot towels. He still does it. It's a wonderful chance to help them with the service that they truly need. And oh yeah, he does it for free. Now you're going to have Hollywood feet. I believe it's important for a man to have purpose. Here's the part all my clients love. That purpose, caring for people dealing with cancer. Sally's one of about 10 people he helps. They all need their dignity and they all need their self-respect and their wholeness. A simple slogan on a brochure explains what Allison's goal is for his cancer patients. Look good, feel better. In interviewing Sally, you know he's succeeding. Listen to how many times she mentions the improvement in her feelings. All the time he's doing it, you know, he's making you feel better about having it done. I feel good about it. I don't need a hat. I can take my hat off. He makes me feel like if there's something I need, I can call him. For how he makes her feel, Sally felt she needed to thank him. Today, you are the winner of Pay It Forward. Isn't that great? <laughs> so she asked us to help with $500. would like to pay it forward to you for supplies that you need to keep doing your work. You have no idea how bad I need this. Inhale. Allison plans Excellent. to use the money to buy more things for his cancer Just patients. Inhale and hold it. Like Three, Sally, two, one, who need him to help them look good and feel better. I don't know. I'm just glad that I found Robert because who else would do this? I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Allison's goal is to have a salon called Hope, helping cancer patients in every American city. And if you're wondering what his motivation is, yeah. uh, this is fascinating. Part of it, he says, is when he was a young boy, his grandmother was on her deathbed and he promised her that he would make a difference in his life. And this is the difference that he's making. Wow, That's that is amazing. so heartwarming. Fascinating it's really guy. fulfilling that promise. Great Thanks, story. Jeff. Thanks. Well, we want to know who you'd pay it forward to. Send us your name, your new and incredible story and your name, of course, by logging on to kpho.com. Click on pay it forward. Well, the mercury is rising. Yeah, summer definitely here and it's going to feel like it tomorrow. Scenes out live tonight with your Valley Pinpoint forecast. Jump in that pool, scene. <laughs> yeah, start cooling off now, scene. Hey, Ken and Catherine, full disclosure, you know, helping me out with that pool safety uh, school quiz were, were my in-laws, my wife and my sister-in-law and my kids. They're, they're not as clueless as they look. They were acting. They were fully in the part. They know exactly what to do around the pool and my kids obviously do too. Mia, you never swim what? Without who? Oh, what did we say in rehearsal? Without what? Without an adult. You know better, right? So take our pool safety quiz. You know, all kidding aside, it's extremely important, not only if you've lived here five, 10 years, or if you've just moved here, you have to be ever vigilant 
around your pool. Let's take a look outside and show you what Kent and Catherine were talking about right off the top. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. Our high today was 109, but wait until you see the weekend. Let's take a look at the current temps. Temperature still very, very warm outside. We're watching for some wind gusts down in the southern part of the valley. So far, so good. Let's take a look at the big picture and show you this high pressure. This is expanding now over the weekend, which means warmer conditions, but the monsoon is not going to be completely cut off. Take a look at the average highs for tomorrow. In, the, uh, in Southern California, they should be in the mid-70s. LA is going to be a little bit warmer. We're going to be warmer as well with a high of 110. 110, so the heat wave begins starting tomorrow. Take a look at our future cast. We are expecting some debris clouds in the morning with some blowing dust possible coming up from the south each and every day, but our highs are going to be warm. Our statewide highs for tomorrow. Yeah, let's take a look at the seven day. Uh, yeah, 112 to 113. 113 on Sunday. That's a good six degrees above average for this time of year. Right now, there are no heat advisories or heat warnings to pass along to you, but that may change. But at this point, if you've been watching all week long, we've actually dialed back the temperatures by a couple of degrees. We won't be uh, close to records about about three degrees off the record on Sunday. So we're live in the pool. I've got a lot of disciplining to do and I'm going to toss it back to you guys. A little reminding and more rehearsing. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, exactly. Steve. <laughs> and we will be right back. Don't go away. Tonight. Is anybody else here having naughty thoughts about Sarah Palin and those waiters? And I'll just go ahead and apologize for that right now. He's got Daniel Radcliffe and a top 10 presented by Bruno tonight. In through the nose and out with a whoo. Good job. Go ahead. Breathe in. And through. Is your wife here? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not married. I'm just using your Wi Fi. So. Can I have a pillow? Free Wi Fi at places you'll actually want to go. Now, all Quest Internet customers get free access to the nation's largest Wi Fi hotspot network, powered by ATT Wi Fi. Quest High Speed Internet from $14.99 a month. Big Surf is celebrating its 40th anniversary with a great deal on admission. Go to Golfland.com to get four Big Surf tickets for just $40. Tickets are valid Monday through Friday starting at 2 p.m. and may be purchased at Golfland.com. It's Big Surf's 4 for 40 offer at Golfland.com. Bye. My friend said that I might be able to find a punch bowl here. Try housewares. Thanks. You never know what you'll find, but you know you'll find something. Find what you were looking for? No, nope. good stuff. Good work. Goodwill. This is an important notice to all Phoenix residents. The world's biggest and best name in theme parks has arrived. Wet and Wild. With 30 new Mad and Mad slides and attractions. Like the world's first maximum velocity, dueling H2O coasters, and the mighty Tornado. Awesome family attractions like our giant water fortress. Tons of shade areas and private cabanas to keep you cool. And with dive-in movies at night, it's the most fun and full day out ever. So get down to Phoenix's newest theme park today. Wet and Wild, Phoenix and Best. If we don't start calling each other more, we'll never defeat Centaur. We're all on other networks. Talking a lot can get expensive. Yeah, this hero stuff is pro bono. That's why I brought a friend to help. Chad? You guys need my circle. You choose the plan that fits you best and get unlimited calls to anyone on any network. What if you don't have pockets? I'd go hands-free. He's fantastic. My circle. Get unlimited calling to any 5, 10, or 20 numbers. Hurry in for the Blackberry Pearl, now only 99 cents. Hey, right now, kids eat for just 99 cents every night. So what did you get? Get at Old Country. So what did you get? Get at Old Country. So what did you get? <laughs> We're just afraid to ask the question. I mean, <laughs> just take it away. Everyone's walking through the newsroom. Diamondbacks, hey, they're up Yay. big. They're going to win. Yeah. It's a good day, right? Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> 
Well, the day started with the news that Mark Reynolds did not make the All-Star team, finishing third in the fan vote. But at the time, things were still looking up because the D-backs had won five straight and were playing the best baseball of the season. But the Black Cat came out again tonight at Chase Field. Yet another game that's just, it's painful to watch. Now, great start to this one. You can watch this. Bottom of the first, one on for Justin Upton, a missile to left. His 16th of the year makes it 2 0 Diamondbacks. To the third, two on, and watch this. Chris Young skies one to left. The ball is going to find the one spot that keeps it from being a home run. Turns into a two run triple. Diamondbacks led this game 7 0. But their eighth inning troubles come back to bite them. And this, this is more of a, a chomp. The Marlins scored a franchise record 10 runs in the eighth inning. Three on that Brett Carroll homer, but that wasn't the worst of it. The bad news backs, there they are. They came out again. Two errors in the inning. There could have been more, but the home score on the home team side of things tonight. Now, pass ball also led to another run. Just a devastating defeat as things were just looking up. 14 to 7. Looks like a football score. Your final tonight. All right, let's take you to the NBA, where a four-team sign-and-trade has landed the Matrix in Big D. Former son Sean Marion, now a Dallas Maverick. He leaves the Toronto Raptors to join Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Kidd in Dallas. Now, as part of this deal, Orlando Magic star Hito Turkoglu ends up in Toronto. Marion expected to sign a five-year deal worth $39 million. While the Suns are hoping some future stars will get quality work in during the NBA Summer League, play starts next Monday, and the roster is made up of mostly rookies and second-year players. Point of the Summer League, get the young guys used to game speed situations and mostly the tension okay. will be on top that draft pick is. Earl Clark everyone wanting to see how Clark will fit in with the sun style of play you know I'm just finding my way right now learning how to play the system and uh, it's fun learning it's a fun system I think I'm gonna do well uh, we're not running a whole lot of things we're just gonna go out um, you know kind of run what we did last year as far as our, our early offense and try to get up and down as much as possible and you know, they play a lot of games, and uh, these guys aren't in great shape, so we'll do as much as we can that way. But uh, we're not going to try to cloud them with too many things. All right, speaking of camps for young prospects, the Coyotes holding their development camp in Peoria. Chance to see some of the team's top prospects out there. All six of the draft picks sharpening their skills, including top pick Oliver Ekman Larson. Now there's also going to be an open house at Jobbing.com Arena this Saturday from 1230 to 230. You'll be able to show up, get autographs, and meet the players. That and cool fun. off. Yeah, go on the ice for a little while. <laughs> Good Just idea. Lay down. Thanks, Eric. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Tough questions, the most powerful tool we have to hold those in power accountable. Why are you putting profit before people's safety? It's not always easy to get the truth. People won't always sit down and answer the questions you expect to be answered. I've got some questions to ask you about your business. When our repeated attempts to get the whole story are ignored, we go face to face to get you the truth. We just want to hear your side of the story. Getting answers and telling it like it is. CBS 5 News. Hey, here's something nice for a hot weekend. Free Slurpees, and it's no joke. This Saturday, July 11th, or 7-Eleven, get it? The convenience <laughs> store 7-Eleven is giving away free Slurpees. The uh, store is celebrating its 82nd birthday. I did not cover their grand opening. The gifts are free. All you have to do is show up on Saturday. <gasps> oh, that's a cool treat. Perfect for the weekend. Oh, yeah, just go around all the 7-Elevens. Yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight. <laughs> have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Where's your phone? You love your phone. You always take your phone. You talk on your phone. You take pics on your phone. You text on your phone. You do everything on your phone. So get news on your phone. CBS 5 to go. Signing up is easy. Go to kpho.com. A few clicks and bam, you're done. You'll love it because it's on your phone. Have a story idea? Click the action button on kpho.com.